Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Cat Tutorials for Beginners to Advance. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the swift command in Katia V5. So, in this tutorial, uh, we will discuss about the uh, second type that is the explicit profile type but with the two guides in this lecture. So, let us start with the uh, generative shape design. So, go to the start shape and then generative shape design and I will keep the naming as it is here. So uh, here, uh, so again, if you if you go to the sweep command here, you can see uh, the explicit type, and here you can see the second type is with two guide curves. So we are going to see this, and if you see in this uh, diagrammatic representation here, so it needs uh, two guide curves that is G1 and G2, and there is one profile uh, we need to create. So let us uh, close this, and uh, I will create one sketch here. So again, uh, as, as last time we did, uh, we'll create a, a sketch here, the profile uh, profile first. So let us uh, select this arc again, center first point and the second point. And then just exit the workbench here. So we have uh, the profile ready. And now we need to create two guide curves here. So maybe either you can create uh, here, here and this point. So any, anywhere you can, you can create a um, guide curves. So before that, uh, so let's say if I want to create a, a, a guide curve here, right? So I need I, I don't have uh, any reference here as of now. So so for that I will create one plane at this point, which is parallel to this exact plane, and similarly uh, uh, I will create one plane uh, at uh, this y this this point actually, and which is again uh, parallel to the exact plane. So let's uh, select this plane here. I will just select the plane and then uh, here uh, just provide a reference the reference point I will provide here so automatically it, it takes uh, through three points so I will not use this I will use parallel through points okay so now it will ask me for a point and then reference so point I have already selected here and then reference I can select this plane just select the plane here and you can see uh, there is a, a plane which is created which is exactly parallel to the exit plane and which is passing through the point we have chosen. So let's uh, select OK here and then I will create one more plane. Just select the plane here and then similarly uh, select this uh, point and then uh, I will provide a reference. Again select the plane type as uh, parallel through point and then references again uh, I want to create a plane which is parallel to the exit plane and you can see here in the preview I just click OK so now we have this uh, two planes ready with us so now we can simply uh, create a two guide course so let's uh, select a position sketch and I will choose uh, this plane so my orientation is uh, exactly same which I want the H on the positive X direction and then V on the positive Y direction so just click OK and then you can create a, a profile here so either you can create a profile uh, by spline or any any other uh, type you can create so i will just choose a spline because this is just for the demonstration purpose so select this point here and then create some profile here and then just escape so now we have one profile also just exit the workbench and then similarly i will create uh, the profile here as well okay so let's select the position sketch select this uh, plane and again here if you see uh, the H on the positive X direction and Y on the positive Y direction so this is fine so just click on OK and then again I will create one profile so let's select the spline once more and then select this and just escape this just exit the workbench so now you can see we have uh, the uh, profile ready guide curve 1 and guide curve 2 so now we are good to go with the sweep command so let's select the sweep command here select the profile type as explicit here and then the subtype we need to select as with two guide curves so here the profile uh, we already have a profile here the guide curve 1 this is our guide curve 1 and then guide curve 2 this is our guide curve 2 and then you can just preview it so you can see here uh, the uh, sweep is created along with these two guide curves we have created here 
you can see this is a profile this is a guide curve one and guide curve two and just click on ok so again uh, as we discussed in our last tutorial so we, if you if you try to change something uh, so let's try to uh, tweak something here uh, let's say some profile section so it will get automatically updated uh, according to that here and then exit this so you can see this is already updated and now again uh, we have a relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 options uh, for this command as well so here spine uh, so spine is basically is a default uh, taken as sketch 3 so this is nothing but a guide code 2 so i will create a relimiter re 1 here so again uh, if you right click on this you will see uh, different options available so let's try uh, and create a plane here i will i will create a plane just right click and create a plane so now i will select uh, this curve here and then by default uh, the point is selected as a uh, middle so this is nothing but a, at the middle of this curvature if you see if you try to see it approximately completely uh, at the middle of this uh, guide curve here so if you want to change that you can change it just you can uh, create a, a point right click and create a point and then you can just select here sorry uh, you, you can select the type here on curve we have to create it on the curve right so just select the curve here and then uh, length you can mention you can see the length is on the from this uh, end position if you want to reverse it you can reverse it just click on the reverse click on the reverse keep this one and then uh, you can provide a dimension here let's say i will try to enter 100 mm and then click on preview and again click on ok so now the plane has been moved from middle to this point right so just click on ok so now again uh, we have this swept surface just preview here and then you can see the uh, swept surface is only created in between these two planes just click ok so it is where relimiter 1 uh, works again there is one more that is relimiter 2 so again you can you can just uh, click on right click here and then uh, create a plane then again uh, select this curvature here and then uh, if you want to keep it to middle you can just leave it and just you can uh, uh, click on ok and then here you can create a preview then you can see only the uh, sweep has been created between this two relimiters relimiter 1 and relimiter 2 so let me uh, let me try to change here uh, i i will try to change the point here let's uh, create a point and then here uh, let's try 200 and there's curvature here obviously curvature and then click ok and just click ok and if you preview it you can see it only created in between these two relimiters just click ok so in this way we can we can uh, create this uh, uh, sweep with the two guides again if you want to double click and if you want to change the uh, planes uh, location here you can just simply double click on this sweep and it will it will open up the uh, this is this dialog box swept surface definition dialog box and you can simply uh, double click on this plane option and here you see the point so again beside the point you can see this point of button J just click on it and it will ask for you the dimension so let's uh, try 100 and then preview and then click on ok and now you can see the plane has been moved a little and then again just click ok it becomes red it means that it has to be updated so again if you click on the preview it is updated the plane positions are updated and based on that the sweep surface has been updated as well so that's it for this video i uh, hope you have enjoyed watching it uh, please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos in the next uh, tutorial we are going to discuss about the third type of uh, prof uh, explicit profile type that is the with pulling direction. So stay tuned.
थैंक यू सो मच